What's up Taurus? This is going to be a love forecast for the second half of July. This is for my Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment and share. It really helps out my channel. And if you're new here, I do put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, I put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love. Second half of July. Any love messages for my Taurus? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Second half of July. The moon, Taurus, the judgment card, the lover's card. Wow, all major arcana. So this is big. The ten of wands in the reverse, the emperor card in the upright. So Taurus, lover's card, there's a strong love situation that's coming in or that you're dealing with in the second half of July. And there might be the call for a decision, the judgment card. I mean, this could be the comeback around of someone. And it seems to be that there's confusion going on here or something is sort of murky you don't have all the information or maybe you feel like something hasn't been revealed to you um the lover's card could also mean choices so maybe Taurus there's an element of you needing to make a decision you could have more than one option come back around from someone and someone else that you're dealing with I've got an emperor card and a ten of wands so there seems to be this ending to a burdensome cycle someone might be taking control of the matter like I said maybe you've got someone wanting to come in wanting to take some action um, maybe they want to rebuild something with you because the emperor card is about building it's building a structure um, let me get a little bit more on that the lovers yeah there's a comeback round for us from someone with the eight of cups in the reverse but like I said, this comeback round, I mean, maybe that's causing some confusion for you either because you now need to make a, a decision um, or because you're not sure if you actually want to take this second coming, second coming, you know, this comeback round. Um, tell me about the moon. Maybe you felt like this person was not honest with you in the past and that created a lot of burdens. <laughs> Perhaps Taurus, you finally managed to let go of this and this person's now returning and so it's maybe shaking things up for you a little bit. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here. So there seems to be a positive shift either way, Taurus, for you, um, where there's been disappointment, Five of Cups, um, spilt cups. Maybe you want to sort of let go of that and you want to maybe move in another direction, as I said, um, or someone they're coming forward because there's regrets here and they want to work through those regrets. It's a five card. Um, we've got the Three of Cups and the Death card. I mean, for some of you, you're also dealing with a person where you were made... Um, into a choice like you weren't chosen okay because I've got the three of cups and the death card so two things some some of you may be closing this off to move in another direction three of cups you've got another choice or an option on the table or that's where the confusion's coming in um, and for others of you this person's coming back around because there's been an ending of sorts in their situation and um, they're wanting to shift things in a more positive direction but it could be that you're feeling you're not sure if there's been some kind of a deception or a distrust or something like that, okay? I mean, the Emperor card, someone I think wants to demonstrate effort here. Um, and there's transformational energy, okay, with that death card. Um, Scorpio and Aries and Gemini energy, right? And Pisces, okay? So tell me a bit more about that death card. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse. There's also an ending, Taurus, for you of a situation Either it's a rebalancing now in this situation or you're deciding anyway that, you know, you want to move forward in a direction where you feel like there's equal give and take and reciprocity. You could have had, like I said, five of cups is what's happened. It's the past where you felt like maybe you were getting breadcrumbed or you didn't get the equal amount of effort. And that could be a lesson that you've had to learn, um, Taurus, about, you know, choosing you. That's also lover's card, choosing you. Um you know, this can be the wheel of karma. So this is like where we keep going around in loops, getting the same situation or um, experience in a situation. So that's ending somehow, Taurus, um, for you, whatever you choose. King of Swords. So someone wants to come in and have a conversation. They want to, they want to speak a truth to you, Taurus. Um, or maybe in the past, this person with the King of Swords 
and the six of pentacles in the reverse, you felt like they were cold or detached or they weren't honest with you. King of swords, when they're not balanced, is not so honest, okay? We've got a queen of wands and a seven of swords and the ace of wands. Some of you, you were put in a position where you were the other person, woman or man, okay? It's not gender specific, but queen of wands can be like that. There's a seven of swords, like there's a deception. And I did say a lot of you could have felt like you weren't chosen. Maybe you felt like this person snuck away, didn't sort of speak the truth or just sort of avoided facing something that was hidden that maybe you intuitively kind of knew or maybe you did discover it, Taurus, but they kind of didn't, they just snuck away. They didn't deal with it. So that, there seems to be a regret here in wanting to come forward and actually, you know, maybe reignite passion with you. I feel like you have a lot of chemistry with this person, but the Knight of Wands in the reverse tells me that they could have been hot and cold or um, maybe you felt this person was a bit of a player type energy, but I, I am going to get the specifics on them. There seems to be some kind of a shift here and wanting maybe to show you that they're more stable. Some of you are dealing with a husband and a father figure with that emperor card. Um, but again, it's going to be the judgment card. It's up to you, Taurus, whether it's matching you right now or it's something that you want. Um, maybe this is just sort of something that's going to help you to let go of some kind of a regret or a pain. Okay. Um, let me get the cards on them. What is this person's intentions and feelings towards Taurus now? What are they going to do as we move through July? Second half of July. I just saw the Eight of Cups in the reverse, guys, again, from a different deck. So let's have a look. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, Nine of Cups in the reverse, King of Cups in the reverse, Tower card in the reverse, Ten of Cups in the upright with the Nine of Swords and the Chariot. Okay, so Taurus, I feel like We've got a King of Cups in reverse. So I think that the issue here is, is that whilst this person feels connected to you romantically, they do have trouble opening their heart. They could come across even a bit manipulative. I mean, for some of you, it's like emotional manipulation. And for others of you, this is like just someone that's really struggling. They don't have the emotional maturity to come in. I think that that's why they King of Swords. They may be too much in their head, not enough in their heart. They might come across as quite cold or detached. So whilst Ten of Cups, you know, this person sees you as someone that, you know, potentially they want a future with, they are very stressed in moving forward and moving towards you. Um, the Nine of Cups in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This person, it's like, for some reason, whilst I think they probably, like I said, they want to speak to you, they want to speak maybe the truth to you or communicate with you. It's like they don't seem to be ready to give you like commitment, Ace of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups in the reverse can be, you know, maybe they have some indulgences or addictions. Sun card in the reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, they're not feeling very happy or fulfilled is what I'm hearing. And the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is perhaps they're feeling like you're not making any effort anymore, Taurus. I've got that Eight of Cups in the reverse coming out now. So there is a return, Taurus. Um... But there also seems like they're coming in, but they're not necessarily coming in and saying, we need, you know, I'm ready to commit to you. And that could be, there's something that needs to crumble, Taurus, the tower cards in the reverse. Um, this person could have a family outside of your situation here, and that's not yet ended. Okay, the tower card in the reverse, maybe they have a sense that there's something they need to change um, or take care of. Let me just look at this Nine of Cups in reverse, Four of Swords. And then I've got that Emperor card in the upright and the Hierophant and the Two of Cups. So Taurus, I feel like this person, they are going to return. Maybe they're going to tell you that they have the intention. You know, the Hierophant card is about commitments, um, but they may still be in a commitment. And they may tell you that there's something that they need to take care of. Four of Swords, they have been thinking about you. They're contemplating the situation. Um, I feel like Taurus things have been maybe at a rest state or you, you've been taking a break from this person. Um, maybe they know that they've acted selfishly with that nine of cups in the reverse, but they're not feeling fulfilled without you Taurus with that sun in reverse as well. Um, and here you are coming up as the Hierophant card. So that's traditional values, marriage, etc. cetera. Um, so they do sort of see you Taurus as someone that they would want to build the future with, but they're stalled because there's something they need to take care of. So I think that they're still going to come in. There's a return. They haven't completely let you go. And then we've got the star card and the seven of swords. They have an awareness that they did something 
they've been either sneaky in some way or um, snuck away, avoided their feelings or like literally were not honest with you and we've already talked about what that was. Um, but they wanna heal that with you, okay? And we've got the Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords. So there's maybe been an abrupt ending or harsh words between the two of you. They also might feel like you're just moving away from them the six of swords like they're losing you but this is also wanting to move it in a better direction okay i mean i'm going to get the oracles because it's so mixed i feel like on one hand this person wants to come in and they want to take control and they want to offer you something on the other hand it's like they're not ready but i think that they're scared to lose you we've got cancer energy with the chariot card as well for some of you are dealing with a person where travel and distance is a factor so that could also be playing into it maybe you know, there's a sense of them wanting to move towards you or travel towards you, um, but there's a lot of stress there. Maybe they're not too sure exactly where you're at or whether you're gonna choose them, okay? Let me just get some Mystic Black Rose. Mystic Black Rose for this situation. Intuition, dreams, heart songs. So, you know, the Two of Cups came out, so I think that you do have a strong connection with this person. Um, gamble, taking a risk not showing feelings so yeah they haven't sort of shown you all their cards literally like that they haven't shown you all their cards um about their feelings they feel like it's a risk and there could be a risk here because there's something that they need to take care of they may have something to lose and that could be you know maybe they're in a marriage or um they're tied up in something else as i said look pain okay putting up a wall so this person does put up a wall. There's an avoidance there. That's caused you a lot of pain, Taurus. Um, and I also feel like I said, this person's not very fulfilled with the situation as it is. Gossip, spreading rumors, petty conversations, making you, making you the fool. I mean, Taurus, there's a queen of wands here that I don't feel is you. I mentioned that. And there could be sort of a karmic third party type energy that this in a shadow is sort of like a mean girl, mean guy. Um, it may not even be, if you're dealing with a person that's not in another relationship, they might have very unhealthy um, people around them. They may have stress in moving forward towards you because there may be some, you know, unhealthy influences. Uh, the Hierophant card, you know, there could be um, uh, cultural or religious factors at play and family pressures for some of you. Um, Anyway, so what's this gossip? Yeah, revenge, retaliation. They could also be, like I said, for some of you, this person's tied up with someone else and, and they have a lot of um, worries in, in really cutting themselves away because the tower card in the reverse, this is like um, something, they're trying to avert disaster. So I feel like they're a bit torn, um, Taurus, with their situation. I just saw the forbidden card. Forbidden, something feels maybe a bit forbidden, either because of pressures that I explained, like with culture, family, religion, or this is because there's a love affair or a temptation here and you're dealing with a, a third party situation. Um, coffee date, meeting up. They wanna see you, Taurus, they wanna have a discussion. I said that, but it's like they're coming in. I don't think that they're ready to give you the everything, but maybe they wanna tell you that they're trying to take control of the matter of whatever is going on. So it'll be up to you, Taurus, what you want to do about that. Um, I can get you a quick romance angel. Romance angel, please, for Taurus. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Make the effort. I did say to you, I think they want to show you that they're taking control of the matter. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I've got passion. So they have a lot of passion for you, Taurus. Give your relationship a chance work on your partnership they want to show you that they want to work on things okay it's up to you if you want to take it guys i don't tell you what to do flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others so they could be coming in also a bit flirty taurus but you might also be extending your light-hearted energy to someone else i said that the lovers card you could have someone else on the table um, another option or just going out having fun I mean the coffee date card could be you dating multiple people but it does say discussions and meeting up okay um, flirt calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together you may have been trying to manifest someone else Taurus and that could be what you're dealing with now another another more suitable option for you 
moving through July. Um, but also, you know, you and this person could have been trying to manifest a new start as well. I mean, this could have been going on for a while. We've got divine timing is at work in your love life. And what else? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life with separation. So there's a sense of you had to take back control of your life because there's a lot of pain here. And I think that, you know, you sort of move forward in a direction or you're moving forward in whatever direction feels good and right for you. You're not dependent on this person to come through to, you know, save you, right? Um, like, I think you're in a good place, Taurus. That's why with the lover's card, you're going to make the decision that's right for you. You're choosing you. Um, this person, free, he has to free, he or she has to free themselves from something where they feel very confined and trapped and taking back control. So there's something in a situation that they're in where they're feeling very controlled or they have sort of um, their own limiting behaviors that are keeping them trapped and stuck, okay? Because there's a separation between the two of you. Um, and I think the separation was necessary because the moon is our blocks. The moon is our shadows and our fears. So something had to be kind of learned um, in the separation period because then we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So you also had to learn something about yourself here, Taurus. And there may just be something that needs to be forgiven and released between the two of you. You may decide that you're done. Okay, but it's, it's taught you something that's allowing you to move forward in a direction that's more balanced for you. We got, you deserve love. You are lovable. So perhaps that's a lesson you had to master, Taurus. But this person's returning um, and I feel they want to show you that they want to make more effort and that they're trying to make changes, but it'll be up to you if it's what you want. And there's definitely other opportunity around you, Taurus, in July, okay? All right, Taurus, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.